This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 6, User Input and Strings, Part 10. Back to Mad Libs. Design your app. Perfect. All right, let's get started. Now that you've had some practice getting user text and making new strings with it, you're ready to turn your How to Mad Libs into an app. First, make sure that you're still happy with the design you made earlier for your basic Mad Libs and make any changes you want, then move on to setup and layout of the screen. There are two screens. Screen one, user collection, collect user input. On this screen, you'll use text labels and text input design elements to set up the different words you want to, you want the user to provide. A next button takes you to screen two to view the full Mad Lib. That makes sense. If they need to input text, we then need to show it to them. Screen two, view Mad Libs. On this screen, you will use text area element to create the space where the user's completed Mad Lib will be displayed. A play again button takes you back to screen one. Awesome. Oh, and this is their example one. Create two screens for your app, including design elements in each one requirement. Request at least three separate words from the user in screen one. Create the event handler for next and play again buttons to respond to clicks. You set screen in the event handlers to get screen navigation working. Cool. All right. Well, I'm excited. Let's get started. I am going to do a Valentine's Day adjective because of course I am. So do they have multiple screens? We don't. Awesome. So my first screen will be uh, pink, I guess. I guess. I mean, pink. It's going to be a Valentine's Day adjective. Maybe the first one should be red. Let's not terrify them. A little bit darker. Perfect. All right. What is theirs? Mad Lib. Okay. Um, label. Boop. And the label will be... Um, oh... Uh, title label I know original and the text I'm gonna steal their idea here mad lib exclamation point um, and they have okay cool setting up all of these I'm gonna have my text be white that's the background leave that alone what have I done There we are. I'm going to add a bit more text. A Valentine for you all. And let's make this font slightly larger. Okay, that's looking good. Oh, I should tag line label. Sure. Okay. Off to the races. Now we need text input. Once, twice, three, four, and five. I want these all in the same spot, so this one's at 110. Where's this one? Just setting them in the same spot. There we are. And now labels. So what do I want people to put in these? Noun one label, and this is going to say so that's noun one label. I should make this noun one input so we know what they are. You don't want to get these things mixed up, okay? And so, what I'm going to do with this though 
Well, now I need another label. Boop. Just going to drag out a bunch. Now in two label, this will be another. Oh, nope, this isn't a noun. What am I doing? All right, so that should do it for my base screen. And then we want to set up some functions to save our info for each of these. Okay, so I'm going to click here and... Oh no, we need a submit button. That's when we save. That will be easier. Um... Oh, next is what we'll call ours, too. Next. Okay. Now, I need an event for this. I should rename this scene, though. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, my event will be next screen, but I need a new screen. And this is going to be the result screen. Okay. Our result screen will be. I guess we can have it the same color. We'll just do this big space like they are. I'm going to copy this color and put it on our other screen. Then I'm going to do what they did and grab a text area here. And... Ta-da. I have a plan. I'm also going to... Oh. Result text. And um, we need a button. And I'm going to make this button the exact same color as this guy. Because why not? So I'm going to copy. Perfect. Paste, but uh, pink, and then my button on this screen. Oh, whoops! I'm gonna Control Z undo. Not what I wanted. Pink. My button on this screen. <laughs> Paste. There we go. Uh, we'll make it 18 for this screen. And then I'm going to be fancy and add an image right here. Icon. I know they have it. Yes, they do. Oh, perfect. Or this. I'll just go old school. Right heart. And I'll make it the same color as the button because why not? Perfect. I'm going to have a bit of text, kind of like they do with learning to drive. Oh, wait, it would be capitalized. And then let's set this size to... And then, 
this. The result text, that seems like it's going to be small. I'm going to set it to 16 and we'll see. Oh, and then the string that's going to be my result text. Oh, no. There are a few ways to do that. All right. Let's go ahead, though, and start doing our events. So on the start screen, when we click next, we want an event. So I went to events. Oh, I need the button. Events. Insert code. Okay. When next button is clicked, And I want to set it to my result screen. So when I click the next button, B result screen. Okay, let's test that at least. Yay, reset. Okay. Um, and then what else? I'm just going to add the basic functionality stuff. So I'm going to do on event. And the other button is the play again button. Oh, I should switch. Okay, it shouldn't matter. Good. Oh, I think, did I call it again? Again button. When clicked, set screen. All right. Great. All right. So our buttons are working. Ba-da, ba-da. Okay, so the navigation's working. Now let's double check what the requirements were for this. Where's that? Do this, create two screens. I have two, start and result, uh, including design elements each. Require, uh, requirement, request at least three separate words from the user on screen one. I do, I request five. Create the event handler for next and play again buttons, yep got those and respond to clicks yep and set screen is used that's how they're responding right they, we have these on event handlers that are checking hey is next button been clicked and it once i click over next it reacts if it was running um, and it runs the function and the function changes the screen if the again button is clicked it reacts and changes the screen looks like we got all those let's uh keep going